Okay, I'm Patrick Duffy. I'm the managing director of Palatia Leisure, the owner of Palace Bingo Club. We've been here for about 19 years. We have a throughput of some seven, seven and a half thousand people per week, and in the bowling about three thousand. And we're right at the heart of the community. As you can see, you can come in here, and people do from half past ten in the morning right through to midnight at night. Some people spend the whole day with us. It's a safe environment where women can come on their own, old families come, but we are the heart of the community. 50% of our customers are from ethnic minorities and of course bingo plays a huge part in, uh, in the Caribbean community in particular and in actual fact it's a much better bet than casinos, betting shops, anything else. It's a social form of gaming, it's a soft form of gaming and we don't have um, problem gambling, at least we don't have the problems that other parts of gaming has. Now, what am I expecting from Tuesday night? Well, I was surprised by the result. I was surprised, in actual fact, that it was um, at least declined, that it wasn't passed. Now comes the next bit where we're expecting it to be refused. There has to be, there is no provision in the application for bingo or bowling. They are going to affect the lives, the social lives of thousands upon thousands of people in the coming years. So whatever application comes forward, and I do welcome development, but not this particular plan. So I would ask the councillors to refuse it. As I say, our customers will be there not to protest in loud voices. They will be there with a carnival atmosphere. We will play bingo outside the town hall and we will let the councillors know that we are not only part of the community, we are the heart of the community here at the Elfham Castle and vital to the future of Southwark. It's, everything isn't about money that the councillors have to see beyond the money right they have to see the people who elected them and served it seems to me that um, the whole redevelopment is about money and how much the council can get out of it it's really important to see what the community gets out of it